Hi, welcome to University of South Alabama online tutorials. You'll be able to find this tutorial at www.librarynow.info. I'm going to show you how to insert a running head on the title page of your manuscript, add a page number on the first page, and show you how to get the automated page numbers on subsequent pages. So we're going to do just like this, running head. The title is all in uppercase, up to 50 characters from your title. Page numbers are on the right. Subsequent pages do not have the words running head in front of the title, but the page numbers run from one through the entire contents of the manuscript. So let's get started. I have a practice title page here without a running head. So to put my running head in, I'll enter, insert the cursor at the top of the page and I will click insert and then go to the header command and I want to insert uh, the left justified header which is the very first one in this version of Microsoft Word click on it and the very first thing I want to do is make sure that this checkbox that says different first page is checked. So make sure if there's not a check in there put a check in the different first page. And then I will start typing my text. I'll start with running head in upper and lower case letters. One space Okay, so the title can only have up to 50 characters in it, and I checked earlier, and this is about 43 characters. So that's enough to identify the, the title. Um, from here, I'll make a space, type the number 1, put the cursor back in front of the number 1, and using my space bar on the keyboard, I will space the number insert spaces until the number one is on the right margin. And If you have your ruler turned on as I do here it's easier to see when your number one is approaching that right margin so you can stop putting in spaces. I put in too many so I'll hit the backspace to bring it back. Okay so this um, first page header is done. We can close header and let's go to the second page uh, because we said we wanted a different second page, uh, different first header from all the others. There's no header on this first page. So let's insert the header on the second page. So we'll click insert um, and go to page number so because we want to start paginating these numbers and I want my page numbers at the top of the page I want this right justified page number and it already has sense that I have a page one and so it's putting page two here leave the cursor right in front of the page number and begin typing your title in all uppercase letters Because I need this title page to go over here and be left justified, I'll just start placing, using the spacebar to place spaces in between the page number and the title. And as I said before, if you have your ruler turned on, you can uh, more easily see when you're approaching that left margin and line it right up on the left margin. And there we go. So now I can close the header and footer button. Close header and footer. And let's check. Okay, so my running head on the title page is as it should be. Running head, colon, space, uppercase letters, at least up to 50 characters of my title taken right from the title page. The page one is on the right margin. Second page has the title 
in uppercase letters without the words running head. Page number two is on the right hand side and um, subsequent pages because I used insert page numbers subsequent pages of my document would um, be numbered in accordingly. And that's all there is to inserting a running head. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please email me, arand at, ra at usouthal.edu, or give me a call, 251-928-8133. Thank you.